Welcome once again to Lato's Law. Here's Steve Lato. In Australia, there are now calls for the government to reintroduce speed camera signs as quickly as possible because fine revenues are breaking records. And we've talked about speed cameras, red light cameras, and those kinds of things around America. And it varies from state to state which of those they have, if they have any at all. There's been some discussion of bringing them to Michigan. And if they bring them here, they'll be just as unpopular as they are everywhere else. But the question is, are the speed cameras that, that watch for speeders and then photograph them and send them a ticket when they're caught speeding, are those cameras, speed cameras and red light cameras, are they there for public safety or are they there to make money? Because that's the question. And the organization that's calling for this is the National Roads and Motorists Association, the NRMA of Australia. And this is an interesting argument and question because this is the exact same argument and question you have in America. Do the speed cameras create more safety or just simply create revenue? So the NRMA, I'm guessing, is similar to the AAA in America. But they want to see speed camera warning signs reinstated following comments that changes would be coming shortly from people in the government. Jack Mahoney wrote this article, but apparently there used to be signs up saying, you know, beware, speed cameras in force. And so people would slow down because they'd see the sign and then they wouldn't get as many tickets by the speed camera because they saw the sign and they, and they were warned. And apparently they took those signs down and suddenly revenue from the speed cameras skyrocketed. So the NRMA would like to see the warning signs for mobile speed cameras reintroduced as quickly as possible in the wake of record fines. Uh, The removal of signs before and after mobile speed cameras has been criticized by the uh, political parties here who admitted the government would be making changes shortly. And there's squabbling going on between the different political parties on this. We've been looking at and reflecting on the current policy. We'll be making some changes shortly. Uh, One of them said, the priority is saving lives and making sure we keep people safe on the road. So they're saying it's road safety. But a spokesperson for the NRMA on Wednesday said the potential return of signs was very welcome news, adding that they would help create better safety across the roads. The question is, if people slow down because of the sign or slow down because they got a fine in the mail, does it make a difference? Um... We believe this is a really positive step to delivering a better outcome for a safety, a better outcome for the enforcement program who want to strike a sensible balance between slowing people down and finding those people who put their lives at risk and the lives of others. Uh, Meanwhile, one party has noted that fine revenue from mobile speed cameras for offenses less than 10K per hour has increased from $2.3 million in 2019 to 2020 to $23 million in 2020 to 2021. They've gone up by a factor of 10, 2.3 million to $23 million. Um, the, um, the spokesperson for the National Roads and Motorists uh, Association has admitted the revenue that the government's raking in proved there was a problem with the system. Uh, but he said, when you have a situation where you're in the middle of lockdown and traffic volume has dropped by as much as 70% and you're breaking the record for the amount of fines you're issuing, obviously something is wrong and needs to be addressed. So people are driving less, but the amount of fines has gone up by 10 times. <laughs> this is a clear indication that while cameras are catching people, the issue of slowing them down isn't working. The conversations to reintroduce the signs have come following an investigation into the impact and viability of unmarked mobile speed cameras. The investigation is working to figure out whether the decision to remove the signs was made to raise revenue or to save lives. And that is always the debate. And I know people who say, Steve, if you don't speed and you don't run red lights, why would you not like these cameras? And we pointed out, for instance, with red light cameras, they documented this. There are cities that install the red light cameras and to make more money, they shorten the yellow light. There are also red light cameras that will accidentally trigger if you make a right turn on red legally, meaning that you stop behind the line, you look both ways, you're allowed to make a right turn on red, no one's coming, you make a right turn on red. Camera goes off, up. Oh, you went through a red light. You say, I turned right. And then no, you went through a red light. And you, now you can go to court and fight it if you want to. It's a pain, but on Wednesday, the premier responded saying that while he didn't want to see speed cameras simply become revenue raisers, the priority was creating systems to keep people safe. Think about the children, okay? 
Um, the guy from the uh, association said the reintroduction of warning signs would help motorists slow down more in dangerous areas. For the enforcement program to work, you need to have the cameras backed up with some sort of education to remind motorists that the cameras are there. And by the way, if you want to, put up more signs than there are cameras. <laughs> Just put up a sign. Because theoretically, you know, it's being enforced by camera somewhere, right? To enable motorists to check their speed, to internalize their behavior while they're behind the wheel, the NRMA spokesperson admitted that record fines proved drivers were simply not slowing down. Well, that too. While cameras are catching people, the issue of slowing them down isn't working. There hasn't been that correlation between the record number of fines being issued and the behavior behind the wheel. So it would appear that they'd rather have you speed and fine you than to have you slow down. That's what some people are saying. The NRMA would like to see the speed camera signs back on the streets as quickly as possible, saying it was important to use every safety measure possible heading into the Christmas period. What we also want to see, and this is absolutely fundamental, is between now and Christmas is to get every highway patrol on the road because highway patrols can not only crack down on the speeding, they can crack down on all forms of bad driver behavior. So I just, I just don't like the idea of machines doing law enforcement. I've, I've seen that documentary, uh, Terminator, about what happens when machines um, do too much stuff and become self-aware. And I, and I fear that that, that, that <laughs> could happen. But I, I just don't like the idea about a machine doing law enforcement. I understand that if a machine takes a photograph and someone reviews it, that's, there's this human interaction. But I, I like the idea better of, of a police officer in a patrol car driving along, and if he sees someone breaking the law, he can pull them over, and then he's got a whole wide range of stuff he can do depending on circumstances, including give the person a warning, or give them a ticket, or, depending on how severe the infraction was, something else. But the, the, the simple point is that a person's got that kind of discretion. Now, I know some people are going to say, but Steve, you know something, it costs a lot to hire cops. I have better things to do. Yeah, but you know something, like I said, the, the, the idea that a machine takes a photograph and says, you ran a red light, and you look at it and you know you made a right turn on red. But there's no one else there who can say yes or no what you did. And unfortunately, when someone comes into court and says, I looked at the photograph, the guy's tires were over the line, he must have ran the red light. And... They also say, by the way, these machines shoot so many photographs and they've been calibrated and they're set by experts and all this technology went into it. People tend to think that machines don't make mistakes. They tend to think that, like, oh, you know, something measured this. They got a perfect measurement. And that's not always the case. So I'm not crazy about speed cameras or red light cameras. We don't have them in Michigan yet. And I hope we never do. But I know people in other states and I, I get complaints from both sides. I get people who say, Steve, slow down, don't run red lights and just live that way. But other people go, Steve, these things are a nightmare. <laughs> so you guys should just discuss in the comments below and I'll stay out of this one. But this is happening in Australia. The story is from skynews.com.au. Brian sent it, by the way. Thank you very much. The NRMA calls on the government to reintroduce speed camera signs as quickly as possible because fine revenues are skyrocketing. Questions or comments, put them below. Let's talk to you later. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching Lato's Law. Life does not come with instructions on how to live, but it does come with trees, sunsets, smiles, and laughter, so enjoy every day.